Interesting tonight to see how the story of Persephone has really laced its way through this reading. And I think it's essential in our, our group consciousness, in our perception of mothers and daughters and the role of men in coming between them. Um, my poems along those lines as well. It's called Daughter Making. I'm eager to learn whatever you're teaching me, he says, and I breathe, telling me about the pomegranate, he finishes, and I say to myself, ah, he means he wants to know about the Greeks, about Persephone and Hades, how a woman abducted became a lover, how rape became lovemaking, only in a man's world. If the story had been passed down from mother to mother, it would have been a rallying cry from Demeter about how a woman can wrangle part-time loyalty from a world gone male. She would say, even death cannot stifle out life, and the earth shall have its day. With an acknowledging nod, she would admit that the pomegranate has its power, life able to trap earth's daughter where the male machinations of destruction would fail. And a mother's love knows no bounds. And a mother's love knows no surrender. And a mother's love will admit no defeat. But acknowledge that it passes from women to girls in a world soaked with testosterone and testicles. And we must share the harvest with the rapists. And we must share the bounty with the murderers. And we must share our bodies with the men of the earth and succumb to death us all. The moon must share the sky with the sun. And in this way, we make more life. And in this way, daughters come home. <laughs>